Welcome to Superhero Pow. I'm your host nerd, Tom Frumgen. Superhero fans of a certain age are beholden to the greatest and at the same time, the worst superhero show of all times, The Super Friends. Yes, the show that destroyed Aquaman's good name for decades. But now, as we like to do here, here is a list of the top 10 episodes, the best of the best, from all nine, or so, seasons of The Super Friends. The ones that somewhat stand up today, or at least they are totally worth watching, if you're in the mood for some old school goodness. Now, since the challenge of the Super Friends is nearly a top 10 all by itself, we'll start with their best episodes before moving to the episodes of other seasons. Number 10. Challenge of the Super Friends, Secret Origins of the Super Friends. This one is about as classic as you can get. The Legion of Doom travels back in time to prevent the three most powerful Super Friends from becoming superheroes. Cheetah, disguised as an Amazon with the aid of Hall of Doom tech, wins the contest over Princess Diana and becomes Wonder Woman. Lex Luthor trades places with Hal Jordan to become Earth's Green Lantern, and baby kal -El's rocket ship is knocked off course so he never reaches Earth and becomes Superman. Then the remaining Super Friends are no match for the Legion, who for unexplained reasons are unaffected by the changes in history. I mean, how do you have a Bizarro without Superman? Still, aside from just killing them all as babies, it's a classic no-brainer everyone has thought of. Number 9. Challenge of the Super Friends, Swamp of the Living Dead. This is a real creepy one, for Saturday mornings. Thanks to an old witch, who looks pretty much just like the old witch from the EC comics, the Legion of Doom makes a deal with the ultimate evil being. In exchange of delivering the Super Friends to the evil being's swamp, they are granted power over an unstoppable army of zombies. But that's not enough for the Legion, so they capture the evil being himself. But they clearly have bitten off more than they can chew, and the evil being sends the army of zombies after them. How creepy slash cool is it to see the Hall of Doom being overrun by zombies? Number 8. Challenge of the Super Friends. The Final Challenge. One would assume Marvel Comics editor Jim Shooter saw this episode when he came up with the idea for Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars. As a Beyonder-like character, Bartu transports five heroes and five villains to his universe. The all-powerful Vartu then pits the heroes and the villains against each other in five different challenges. The first team to three wins, wins the final challenge, and the loser gets destroyed. Just some really cool one-on-one -on -one challenges in this episode, as Batman and the Riddler navigate a giant maze, Superman and Bizarro have to battle a giant robot, and as you might guess, the final challenge doesn't end the way Vartu had hoped. Number seven. Challenge of the Super Friends. Super Friends rest in peace. In this episode, we learn a former member of the Legion of Doom, Dr. Nataz, created an element called Noxium. Noxium has the ability to kill all the members of the Super Friends. And after acquiring the element buried underneath the Hall of Justice, the Legion of Doom then tricks the Super Friends into coming out of hiding and kills them off, starting with Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. It's probably the only Saturday morning cartoon episode where you'll hear people say, they're dead, they're dead, over and over again. Now while the logic of Noxium is shaky, you gotta admit it's pretty cool to see the Legion of Doom pick off our heroes one by one with their mega weapon. Number 6. Super Friends. Attack of the Vampire. Now at first blush, vampires on Saturday morning cartoons doesn't sound like a good idea, with all the strict rules about violence and blood. But this episode managed to be pretty damn creepy, for Saturday morning, as Dracula rises from his grave. Unable to bite anyone, he has a special power to turn people into vampires. Then they all get vampire eye beams and turn an entire town into vampires. When Superman shows up to save the day, Dracula turns him into a vampire, giving new meaning to the words, we're so totally screwed. Seriously, that is a pretty creepy looking Superman right there. Number five. The legendary superpower show, Darkseid's Golden Trap. In the eighth season of The Super Friends, the production team was joined by the very talented writer, Alan Burnett, and the show itself added Firestorm and Darkseid into the mix. In Darkseid's Golden Trap, Burnett's plot revolves around gold kryptonite, the kryptonite that will remove Superman's powers permanently. The kryptonite is up for auction, and check out Darkseid's bid. One, please. 
Spider is worth so much more. I repeat, one bleed. <laughs> the Super Friends in disguise attempt to outbid him, and Firestorm has to be reminded of his powers. Hey, where are we going to get all these bleeds anyway? If you wanted to, Firestorm, you could turn this entire space station into bleeds. Oh, yeah. This is just a great episode using DC lore and Darkseid, one of Jack Kirby's greatest creations. The show continues with Darkseid capturing the Super Friends and using them as bait to trap Superman and expose him to the gold kryptonite. Number 4, Super Powers Team, Escape from Space City. From the Super Friends final season, again written by Alan Burnett, a Japanese billionaire, Dr. Moto, builds a satellite city orbiting the Earth. When things go awry, he sends a distress signal to the Super Friends. They arrive to discover that Moto has been replaced by a robot and all of Space City is now trying to kill them. Back on Earth, in a hidden base, Darkseid reveals he plans to take over Space City and then use it as a base to take over the world. The problem with building kingdoms, Moko, is that they tend to get taken over. Just a great episode with some reasonable jeopardy as the Super Friends try to survive Space City and gain control of it. And while it might not be too impressive today, at the time, the animation and the new designs by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez were pretty impressive. Number three, the world's greatest super friends, the Lord of Middle-earth. This episode, as you can probably guess, includes a heavy dose of Tolkien. While camping, the Wonder Twins discover some trolls running for their lives. When they investigate, they get captured. Although in the usual fashion, Gleek escapes and brings the rest of the Super Friends to the Kingdom of Middle-Earth, where the evil sorcerer Mel Havoc is forcing all the trolls to mine gems for him. When the Super Friends attempt to stop him, he turns them into trolls. As trolls, the Super Friends lose all their superhuman abilities. Although Batman and Wonder Woman still have their equipment, so they team up with Baldascon, the king of the trolls. He leads them on a quest past three deadly tasks to find the Ring of Gandor, which they can then use to defeat Mal Havoc. This episode is so imaginative and fun, it's a fave of nearly every Super Friends fan. Number 2, Super Powers Team, The Fear. This Super Friends episode is actually an adapted script by Alan Burnett, which was supposed to be a pilot for a Batman cartoon. And believe it or not, it was the first time Batman's secret origin was ever shown outside of comics. Burnett pulls it off brilliantly even with all the crazy no violent rules of Saturday morning cartoons. The story itself is about how Scarecrow discovers Batman's fear of Crime Alley, the place where his parents were killed. And for the first time, Scarecrow is able to manipulate Batman and paralyze him with fear. This episode really took the writing of superhero cartoons to another level and was a precursor of what was to come when Burnett would team up with Bruce Timm and others to create Batman the Animated Series. Now, before the number one episode, here are a few honorable mentions. The Krypton Syndrome, where Superman travels back in time to save Krypton from exploding. The Revenge of Doom, where the Legion of Doom attempts to reform itself. Super Friends Meet Frankenstein, where Dr. Frankenstein transfers the Super Friends' powers into the monster, and then their remaining powers are transformed into Robin, making him a giant-sized Super Robin. Evil from Krypton, where a General Zod look-alike battles Superman and Green Lantern for control of the Earth. Terror from the Phantom Zone, where three Kryptonian villains escape from the Phantom Zone and try to take over the world. Monolith of Evil, where the Legion of Doom acquires the arcane power source that made Solomon Grundy the undead powerhouse we all know and love. And now, number one, the world's greatest super friends, Universe of Evil. This episode blew everyone's mind away on the playground. With an alternate reality where the super friends were a group of villains, the super enemies, complete with eye patches and evil mustaches. You can also see a parallel to the comic books Earth 3, which is home of the Crime Syndicate of America, the evil version of the Justice League of America. Here, just like in Mirror Mirror, Kirk, I mean Superman, trades places with his evil duplicate. The good Superman quickly finds himself outgunned by the kryptonite-wielding super enemies, and the evil Superman manages to humble all the non-kryptonite-wielding super friends. I tell you, there's no better match for a superhero than an evil twin. How they never made a part two of this story is beyond me. Well, there you have it. 
the 10 Best Super Friends episodes. When you include all the honorable mentions, nearly every season had a memorable gem. Except for the first two, the Super Friends and the all-new Super Friends Hour. There's just nothing really noteworthy about those shows, except for the guest star appearances. I hope you enjoyed this stroll down memory lane, or perhaps you learned that the Super Friends wasn't as bad as everyone says it was. Be sure to tell us about your favorite Super Friends episode below, and thanks for watching. Oh, and subscribe, because it really does help with our production.